Uh, I'm Danielle McCartney coming to you from the Yogi Berra Museum and Learning Center in Montclair, New Jersey with none other than World Series champion winning Cubs manager Joe Madden. Uh, Thank you, Daniel. So you, you're known for your glasses, I have to say this. Yeah. So this is a fan question that came in. What would happen if you ever wore contacts to a game or practice? I wouldn't do that because I was really uh, totally opposed to putting something on the end of my finger and then pointing it into my eye. <laughs> I'd never even try. I don't even know if I'm a candidate for a contact lens. Yeah. So you'll never see that happen. You'll see sunglasses. You'll see alternative glasses. But mm. you'll never see me sans glasses with contacts. I can't do contacts either. I don't like eyes. That's it just, just crosses me out. <laughs> I don't get it. Um, so, you know, do you... Uh, um, do you have an opinion now about the World Series not being deter uh, the All-Star Game not determining the World Series uh, home uh, field? It's um, six one half dozen of the other. I thought it was slightly interesting the way it had been done before. I managed in tw 2000. And first, I was part of the staff in 2003 right. when it was the first time it counted. Yeah. And now I'm going to be the first time since then that it doesn't count uh, next year. But I don't. I don't know. I think. Um, uh, I think a lot's made of it. I, you know, the the competitive component was definitely there while the game mattered. So, you, right. as a manager, as a player, you, you felt something different going into the game. Uh, but I'm not opposed to it not counting. This way, when you do the game this uh, this summer, you feel very comfortable about getting people involved, getting guys in and out of the game. Right. You're not worrying about the result necessarily because right. it's not tied to anything. So I think it's fine. Now, the the story behind your dad's cap. Um, I tried to find. It. I never actually. Got, why do you keep I mean, it? It's here. It's here in town right now because it goes with me everywhere. Yeah. It's in my uh, backpack uh, because it's my dad. Um, mm -hmm. uh, my dad was a big baseball fan. My father uh, used to play catch with me every day. He'd come home from work. He was a plumber. Mm -hmm. He played catch with me in the summer. He'd throw football with me in the winter. He'd play basketball with me in the winter time. So my dad did all that. Um, and so we passed away in 2002, the year the Angels won the World Series. Right. And this is his hat, um, not from that year specifically, but a hat that he wore all the time. So okay. it was in a dugout uh, when the uh, Angels mm -hmm. won the World Series in 2002. Probably messed up in 2008, didn't put him in a dugout mm -hmm. versus the Phillies. Well, that was that's my it. mistake. That's it. And then that last game in Cleveland when uh, things weren't going so well, I ran upstairs during that rain delay and stuffed it in the back here in my, in, underneath my uh, hoodie. And uh, seriously, I was, I was tapping that sucker during the game. And uh, so now my dad has been witness to two World Series victories. Cool, that's very cool. Yeah. Now he also had shortened your name. You're Italian American. Yeah. And your name, I think I have it, was Ma Madolini. It, you know, it's either that or also um, it could be Madoni, just uh, okay. M M M like Madden mm -hmm. uh, with an I at the end. Mm -hmm. uh, the tombstone next to in in uh, in Hazleton, where my grandparents, uh, Carmen and um, and, uh, and and Rosie are buried. Rex it is a tombstone that says Madoni. So I have to believe there's something yeah. that, that's related to that. So it's either mm -hmm. Madoni or Madanini, and the other half is Polak. I'm half Polak, half Italian. Okay. So do you embrace the heritage of, oh, the of course. Italian? Oh, please, yeah. <laughs> um, listen, yes. Uh, came from a really large family. My dad had 10-plus brothers and sisters. My mom did. The Italian side of the family we really were related to, to, to half of the city. Mm -hmm. I mean, you go through that, that cemetery, and I'm looking at all the, the tombstones. My God, I'm related to everybody in this. The Ambassadors, Gaudianos, the Grecos, yeah. uh, the Frascos, the Frasks. I mean, everybody. I was related to everybody, the Mornells, uh, the Archangelos. I could go on and Which on. Which city is that? Hazleton, Pennsylvania. Oh, Pennsylvania. So we had okay. a, when I was a kid, the reunions drew over uh, uh, 200 people in the summertime, have them down in the valley in some uh, really cool grove, State Troopers Grove, I think it was called. Mm -hmm. 200 plus, the photographs are great, uh, ball playing, uh, playing some horseshoes, all that kind of stuff. Uh, it, we did it up, and I'm sure they do it around here very, in a very similar manner. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. My family, yeah. yeah. Parlo Italiano? Uh, I, I did. I parlo oh. Italiano in high school for two years, and I <laughs> I, uh, I had Mr. Persico for two Actually, they offered Italian in high school. Yeah, mine too. Okay. I'm an Italian teacher. Okay, okay. There you go. So then <laughs> I did. I parlo, I, I parlo Italiano in uh, junior, soft, junior and senior year. Uh -huh. I had it. And pretty much you forgot all that. Oh, you got to use it. I don't know. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, what is it going to be like going to the uh, the White House? Yeah. President Obama, everybody knows, is a White Sox fan. How's that for you? Well, I talked to him. He actually called me right after we had won, and uh -huh. I was in our apartment in uh, Chicago looking out the window, and I get a call from the president from Air Force One. Crazy. And we had a nice conversation, and he put it out there that is it possible, ask, is it possible that we go there now before he's out of office? Right. So I talked to Theo about it. I don't even know where that's at right now or how that's mm -hmm. going to happen. We have Cubs convention in the middle of uh, uh, January. That's an incredibly insane event in yeah. Chicago. That's the only time I know that all the guys would be there one time. You could jump okay. on a plane and go do something like that. Right. Uh, but it would be very, very fun to do. I've, I met uh, the president during the All-Star Game in 2009. Mm -hmm. And then, of course, via the phone conversation. So 
uh, going to the White House obviously is a pretty big treat. Yeah, does it come up Air Force One on the GPS? I mean, it on, the, on the caller up, ID? It comes up unavailable. Oh, unavailable. unavailable. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So if you get unavailable, answer it. Answer. I don't answer those. Yeah, I, I normally don't. <laughs> All right, so now let's get to the World Series. Now, uh, what had you learned managing in Tampa that kind of propelled you to manage in Chicago? Uh, what you primarily learn is to trust yourself. Right. You know, trust your stuff, trust your um, your theories and uh, how right. you go about your business. Um, the fact that you know that it does work. Uh, so when you go to Chicago, bigger market, but I really did not want to do anything differently. Right. I don't think I did. Right. Um, so I, I think it's more than anything, it's the experience that you gain. Uh, probably in a smaller market like that, possibly mm -hmm. the ability to make more mistakes, the, a lot less expectations in the beginning with the devil rays. But then uh, going to the Cubs, I, I do. I'm not. I do love expectations. I do love right. the word pressure. So um, I just think primarily it was a, a great place to cut my teeth, and then uh, we, we really elevated within the American League East. Also, we gave the Yankees right. a hard time, gave the, the Red Sox a hard time. Mm -hmm. So there's a lot to be learned there, but I primarily it was the experience gained. Now, you know, was there any? You said pressure. Was there any added pressure? You came so close. Mets beat you in yeah. 2015. 108 years. Is that a pressure-filled situation? You, know, or? I, you hear that all the time, but I, I don't know. I mean, I think like every day, you know, we all have pressure on us every day, whether right. you're going driving to work, uh, you know, caught in a traffic jam, or, uh, you know, what are your kids doing that night, or is there something awry with your children? I mean, yeah. we all have different. I mean, I, I don't necessarily feel it. I didn't feel the 108-year-old uh, weight. I, I never felt that. Mm -hmm. um, I was always very confident that we could get it done. I'm glad we did it this quickly, only because now we could move forward. Right. Uh, the burden's been lifted. Right. Now we can go play. Uh, people could have uh, yearly expectations without mm -hmm. this, the burden of having not done it in over a century. So, I, I don't, I don't, uh, I don't really deal with the, the world in that, in that matter, in the baseball world. I, I was just. Um, I went about my business as normal, and it played out well. So a parade of five million people. What is that like? It's um, it's it's indescribable. I mean, you got to be in the middle of it. I mean, if you've seen the photographs, you've yes. watched it on TV. Oh yeah. Uh, we, we're have we're gonna have a parade. Okay, good. Uh, where's it gonna be? It's gonna be you know, down uh, Addison, down the freeway there, the Lakeshore. Then it's gonna go downtown. Okay. And then all of a sudden you get in the middle of it. Oh my God! Yeah. I did not anticipate. It's like a that. national holiday in, in Chicago. Yeah. Did not did not anticipate that. Uh, Fairless Bueller's Day Off uh, <laughs> times fifty. Everybody. You know, it, everybody was there. So it was. Uh, it's, it's one of those uh, once-in-a-lifetime moments, and I really, like a lot of things more recently, I've been trying to slow it down and really enjoy it. What does Anthony Rizzo do with all those balls? Uh, I don't know. He's going to probably have his own Rizzo Museum at some point <laughs> like this one. You're going to see, like, baseballs and stuff in his back pocket for years. Right now he's in Thailand on vacation. Thailand? He's, 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 he's sending some great uh, Twitter photographs right now. Uh, so Anthony's doing it right. Now, um, arguably the best ga uh, Game 7 in World Series history. Mm -hmm. What is it like to be the manager managing that game? Uh, freaky, you know, it's, um, it was, uh, everything was going according to Hoyle until um, Davis hits the homer, and then uh, it's a matter of like really being able to uh, control your emotions. I think we, yeah. we all struggled with it for a bit, but we all uh, re regathered our, our, our methods and everything worked out well, but um, again, you're doing it so you don't really understand or feel the impact while you're doing it. Mm -hmm. But I promise you, the moment that Rizzo caught the ball from KB, mm -hmm. all of a sudden it was like, wow, we just, we just, we actually just did that. And then, you yeah. know, we've all gone through surreal moments in our lifetime. That really is. I mean, it, it's hard to describe. I don't know when, exactly when you're able to process it to the point that you truly understand what happened. But uh, KB to Riz and the smile on their faces was pretty sweet. Now, the, the future of the Cubs now. Young group, young core. I'm going to get better. I mean, I, honestly, everybody keeps saying we're the best. Uh, and I heard that all last year, but you have to understand, we're playing with a lot of green players out there. Mm -hmm. These kids are good, but they're really inexperienced. There's, the biggest difference, I think, if we could, uh, we, sh we need to work to maintain our pitching and our defense because mm -hmm. the hitting's going to get better. Right. Uh, but I'm really, I don't, we don't win that without the way we pitched and played defense all year. Um, so for me, um, we need to, uh, you know, hold that line, and pitch at that level, play defense at that level. Because I promise you, these young guys are going to become better offensive players. Might be tough, though, Chap with Chapman's exit. Yeah, it is. But it's, uh, I mean, Chappie was great. Araldis was great. Uh, however, I, I do believe that there's ways to, um, you know, figure that part of it out. Um, so uh, he's going to get a wonderful contract. I'm really happy we had a great yeah. relationship. But yeah. we'll be able to figure that out. Okay. Now, I was just wondering if we could do a speed round of Italian things. Do you mind? Okay. So just... Give me the first thing that comes to your head. Ready? Got it. All right, so we'll start easy. Is it sauce or gravy? Sauce. Chicago or New York or New Jersey pizza? Uh, New York. 
And I'm sorry, sorry, folks. They like the deep dish. I don't like deep dish pizza, man. <laughs> so like thin crust. Uh, the thin crust. Yeah. So, would you rather ski in the Alps or swim in the Mediterranean? Swim. Favorite Italian tradition? Uh, I was to say Christmas, but it's like um, Easter pie. I don't know, pastiche. Do you guys do that? Yeah, yeah. I, I love yeah, yeah. my Easter pie. I okay. All right. Your favorite gelato flavor? I can't do that. I'm mean, lactose intolerant. Oh, okay. Uh, Type of pasta? Uh, pasta. I like them all too. I'd say um, I, mean, I love linguine with a good clam sauce. Okay, I, I good, good. Favorite Italian city? God, we're all over Italy. Um, if I had to pick one, obviously it's got to be Rome. But I tell you, a really well kept secret is Verona. Verona. Uh, Verona. We've been there. Verona is fantastic yeah. uh, outside yeah. of Venice. So, but you got to go. I mean, I mean, everything's wonderful. But Rome, the history there is just it's incredible. Okay. Now, Ferrari, Maserati, or Lamborghini? Uh, Dodge Challenger, Hellcat. <laughs> and Vino it's fabulous. Vino Rosso or Vino Bianco? Oh, Rosso. Rosso. Que tipo de vino? Bianchi? Ah, uh, no, 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 no. I like the Amarones um, a lot. And there's uh, the the less expensive um, Antinori. Antinori okay. makes a really nice uh, table red that you can afford on a daily basis. Cool. Antinori. All right. Well, I'm Daniel McCartan coming to you from the Yogi Berra Museum and Learning Center in Montclair with... Joe Madden, thank you. Madolini. Mad Madoni. Madoni, Madoni. Madoni. Okay, I okay. think. We, we'll figure it out. <laughs> okay, grazie. Thanks. Tante grazie. grazie. Auguri, auguri. <laughs> <laughs>